Eat something, bitch. What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. And today, we're going to take a trip to a chain that I have never put on the channel before. Uh, this chain is all over Texas, even probably to Kansas and whatnot, too. I'm talking about none other than Brahms. I'm talking about Brahms. Brahms is pretty much like the equivalent of, what would you say, Dairy Queen. You know what I'm saying? They're known for the delicious ice cream and even more so they're known for the delicious homemade burgers like their burgers are just sexy you know what i'm talking about so that's where we're gonna go today i know a lot of you guys ain't never heard of brahms but the majority of you guys should have heard of brahms especially if you're from texas from oklahoma to mississippi the south you know what i'm talking about but that's why i'm putting it out for you guys today so that's what we're gonna get into today so without that being said this is already our food reviews eat something bitch back all right so with all that being done out the way probably brings us to this right here so what i got from Brahms today is i got original large fry over here wanted to try their chicken the crispy chicken sandwich i got their triple cheeseburger which looks so sexy if i can't say so myself and i had to get them chili cheese fries you know what i'm talking about to see what it's all about you feel me so Let's not bullshit, and of course, I got the unsweet tea on deck. That's right, unsweet tea game with this bitch. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna try to get a quick thumbnail in. Hell, white hair on my ass. It's skin. What the hell? Are you shedding like cheetah pet this bitch? Hope you guys like the setup. I can't <laughs> I'll return back to the kitchen for a little bit. I'm gonna go back and forth, pause, uh, from the kitchen to my, my new spot. So gotcha. All right, now let's go ahead and get in a quick moment of prayer because I don't want prayer patrol on my mother and no no no. Why the thing this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish my body and make me stronger as a person, stronger as a man. Please bless those who are hungry as a prayer. You please find them something to eat in your holy, gracious, mighty name we pray. Amen. I love you, Father. All right, now. So, thumbnail out the way. Prayer out the way. Let's dig in. All right. So, yeah, man. It took a long journey. I had to get my own fork over here because it didn't give me no fork. As you can see, it's raining cats and dogs in this hole, man. Raining like crazy. But it's all good. We're in April, you know what I'm saying? Rainy day is going to be all over this motherfucker, you feel me? Oh, man. Show y'all these. Chili cheese fry. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's see what they're talking about. Look that goo action. Look that goo action.
Mmm. Oh man, y'all. That's some good chili cheese fries. Oh, we got beans in them. Ah. They trying to put fiber in your boy. <laughs> Man, hold up. I see Brahms. Man, let's go ahead and dig right into this and get into a little bit of chop business. First order of business. Let's talk about it. Kodak Whistle, Kodak Black, what the hell are you doing, Cuddy? You tripping. Man, I know y'all heard about this Nicarachi Kodak Black. Oh, man, it's beautiful, ain't it? Let me show y'all again. It's Nicarachi Kodak Black over here trying to pull up, you know what I'm saying, on Warren London, you know what I'm saying? She's a widow right now, and she's more he heavy, and this fool's over here Thank you with his big lady. Mmm. Oh, I love that. Homemade like a mug. I love. Mm. Yeah. Thank you with this big lean. And now, Cutting got the whole world trying to do him like. <laughs> I'll talk about that later. I'll talk about later. He got the whole world ready to put paws on him. You know, I thought about it though. And this is me, not by all means. I'm not siding with this nigga because what he, what he said, his comment was wrong. But then again, you kind of got to hear the other side of it. He's talking about waiting for, you know, her to, you know, be ready to date again or whatnot. He said that she only gonna need a year. Nah, man, you don't understand. That's, cause that's the love of her life, man. You tripping. You need to go find you somebody else. It was right out disrespectful. On some real new spit, it was disrespectful. But I, I see what he's talking about. Basically saying that he wanted to try to holler at her, but man, any fool can see from here. Cutty, you ain't got no chance. None. It ain't no money in the world. That can get you that bad hen right there. Can't match the caliber of her husband, her ex-husband, or her late husband or whatnot. It was just too many levels, man. And yeah, man. God rest Nipsey Hustle. Great. Great artist. Really loved his music, Cody. But let me tell you about something my wife was messing with me the other day. Because I haven't said much about the whole Nipsey Hussle situation. Which I didn't want to speak on it because, you know, it's so past tense and everything. And I'm one of the people that just like, you know, let bro rest, right? And she was like, oh, man, you, uh, you're just probably one of those people that, that uh, just, you know, you didn't listen to his music that much. And you're just like, oh, you know, you're mourning him. You didn't really know him that well. I knew his music, you know what I'm saying? It, you know a lot about him. He was cold blooded, Cuddy. Lyricist. You know what I'm saying? He one of these little goofy ass rappers out here. You know what I'm saying? Hum, hummingbird rapping ass nigga. If you listen to his music and you listen to the words, man, Cuddy was really speaking to speaking directly to people that was listening. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't out here just mumbling about Mother Goose to the loose to the goose to the goose. Oh, he ain't doing no shit like that. You can't know nothing but get inspired by him, man. You know what I'm saying? Young mogul. All that stuff. So, yeah, man. R.I.P. to him. But what I was saying was, you know, she had a little bit of a point because there's a lot of niggas out here backpacking the shit. What they call it these days. They call it cloud chasing. This is that crispy chicken sandwich right here. Um, let's see what's all on here. Lettuce, tomato. Oh, shit. Lettuce done hit me on my chest. Lettuce, tomato, big fat ass tomato. You know what I'm saying? Let's just see what it's talking about. Mmm. Bread to chicken ratio is pretty much up to par. 
Not that bad. Now, what she was saying was, a lot of people trying to backpack off of you, you know what I'm saying? And the words cloud chasing off of his untimely morning. Man, he's like, ESPN, ABC News, all these niggas that don't even know who he is. don't even know who he is. You know what I'm saying? They just come out here just trying to get on the buzz the train. You know what I'm saying? Because <sighs> I'm telling you, man, it's like, dang, um, Nipsey Hussle, you know what I'm saying? He passed away untimely and it was tragic. Man, you see how, how it's like major, you know what I'm saying? After his death and everything, imagine if that was like, you know, knock on wood. If that was Snoop Dogg, you know what I'm saying? Whew. Man, hold up. That nigga. It's just, <clears throat> put it to you this way. It's just some people you just don't want to lose. You know what I'm talking about? Real niggas spit. There's some niggas you just don't want to see go. Let me tell you something. When Bernie Mac died cutting, it hurt my heart. Well, one, because I'm a big fan of comedians, right? It's one of my favorites. And it hit me for real. It hit me, it hit me deep, cutting. You know what I'm saying? Like, dang, man. You know, took Mac home, cutting. That's crazy. Oh, here's some more shop talk news, Cuddy. This happened in a beautiful city in Dallas, Cuddy. And this happened in Mesquite. These three pastors, man, it was two women, two older women and a, and a kind of middle-aged dude. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers got arrested for uh for whooping these pastors, Cuddy. These motherfuckers got arrested for whooping, for keeping the kid in the room and whooping this nigga with an extension cord. Hold up, nigga. Are you serious? You niggas over here going NWO style on this kid. <laughs> nigga, where your mama at? And what the fuck was they thinking? Like, this is not the throwback. This ain't the 90s. You can't get away with that shit. You know he was towed up and three niggas whooped him with his ginger car. Mmm. And that burger hit me. There we go. Niggas win. Scott Hall, Kevin Nash on them niggas. <laughs> on that dude, man. That poor baby. Hey, man, you should have seen the mother shots. I don't have it around him, but they was looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Looking crazy. I wonder how church went this Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> what a pastor! He got he on he out sending the business. <laughs> oh yeah, he had a must have. And I'm saying he might he had a probably been a badass kid, man. He had to take three of them for him down board now. But when it comes to a stitch of cord action cutter, you talking about next level. That's like the, you know what I'm saying? That's supposed to be, a, that's a nuclear weapon right there when it comes to, uh, when it comes to that. Shit, yeah. And I say this to the kid, he's somewhere healing up. Cuddy, you should have listened to my Arby's story time mukbang. I remember whenever that that uh, that sister that woman tried to whoop me when I was at church because that's what happened. Church people that you go to church with or whatever the deacons, the deaconettes, and all this stuff. Whenever your parents send you to church, this happened at black churches a lot. I'm telling you. Your parents send you to church alone. Man, you do something wrong or whatnot, the, for some strange reason, they ain't like school. The deaconess and the ushers and all of them, they think they can whoop you when you look, when your parents aren't around. So I can kind of understand how that kind of went to fruition, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, but you 
ain't even whoop me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say you should have watched that story time, Cuddy, because I ran the fuck away. <laughs> Remember me like it yesterday. I'm gonna say y'all niggas can't whoop me. The country basket bitch said, I don't care what your mama said, I'm gonna whoop you. Shit, bitch, that's. <laughs> or your mark just said, ready to go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, man. Shit is great. Now, if you don't know much about Bronx Cutting, they, they locally, they really know for ice cream. Like, it's kind of like similar to a Dairy Queen, you know what I'm saying? But they also, as you can tell, they got good ass homemade burgers, man. Because let me tell you something, them motherfuckers, it was slamming. It was slamming. Look at that cheese on that side, man. Already. Mm. That um chicken sandwich is like close enough for jazz. It's, you know, it's good. It's it's pretty basic. You know what I'm saying? The one thing I wish I could fix is the presentation of the bun, but I can tell why the bun for this the chicken sandwich is so like sogged up is because it's got all them juices and shit. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of humidity going in that motherfucker. I'm chilled cheese fries. I could do without the beans. Never ever was a big fan of that. Mm. I just hope that this April it's not raining like crazy. Like I'll just, I, you know how like there's always like flooding and this and this and that. I definitely don't want that shit that happened in Houston to happen again. That shit was sad, you know what I'm saying? Or that happened to New Orleans. They have been through enough. Hit Delaware or some shit like that. <laughs> that shit not funny. I'm just playing Delaware. You know I fuck with you. I mean, woman, I see you. I go last bike, man. I'm gonna call it quits. Oh, this was fun. I got my money's worth. Good old burger, two, three, five. The works. They didn't have hot dogs. I, if they had hot dogs, I would have tried that too, but it's okay. That was good enough. So. Alright. Thank you, everybody, for watching my Brahm Storytime Chop Talk video eating show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy, RDR, and like I always say, man. Oh, please, excuse me. Food is a gift, so please give thanks. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. <coughs> also, don't forget to hit that like button. If you don't like this video, go ahead and hit it with a thumbs down. It don't matter. I'm going to love it like I always have. It's your boy RDR, and like I always say, man, food is a gift. So please give thanks. It's your boy RDR, and I'm signing up out of here. God bless y'all. Take care. Already. I love you guys, and I will see you very, very soon. God bless y'all. And good night. <laughs>